Hello everyone and welcome to this broadcast. We are now uh, in the, the capital Damascus in uh, actually uh, a military base where uh, as we can see uh, various weaponry are uh, being uh, put on the ground. They are showcased uh, for uh, the cameras, for the reporters. Uh, those uh, weapons uh, were uh, captured, were confiscated by the Syrian army uh, in the southern province of Dara, uh, which is the birthplace of the Syrian crisis, which has uh, returned under the government control uh, late last year. Uh, actually, it's been almost a year since the army retook uh, Dara completely. And up until now, the army is still uh, finding uh, weaponry uh, hidden uh, underground and in uh, some areas that were uh, under the rebel control. Uh, we can see various weaponry, uh, rocket launchers, uh, small missiles and uh, uh, munition boxes uh, on our right. Uh, so uh, these are all uh, have been recently uh, uh, found uh, by the army uh, in, in Dara. Uh, and uh, we have been told that uh, some of uh, these uh, weapons are actually uh, uh, made in the US and others are Israeli uh, as uh, military officers uh, have uh, uh, told us. So as we can move forward, we can uh, uh, look at various, various munition and, and weapons, uh, small rockets. And uh, it's, it's, it's um, as, we, as we said, it's strange because these things are being found. Uh, it's not the, the, the first uh, batch of weapons to be found the, actually on weekly basis maybe. The army is finding weapons as they uh, inspect the areas that uh, have uh, fallen for the rebels for a very long time. Actually, Dara was uh, uh, the birthplace of the Syrian crisis. It means that uh, this park of the Syrian war, which started in 2011, uh, began in Dara. Uh, so, um, so it is uh, understandable that um, that more weapons and more ammunition are going to be uh, found uh, by the army as they uh, move uh, forward and uh, uh, do more inspection and combing uh, the, the the rebel uh, the, the formerly rebel-held areas in, in that uh, region. Um, uh, sure, uh, much of uh, the, the areas now across the country uh, ha, uh, have returned under the government control uh, and the army is consolidating its grip on uh, the areas that had previously uh, fallen uh, to the rebels. Uh, actually, uh, military officers have told us that uh, the, these munitions, uh, it, it, it's uh, a, proof, a proof that um, the rebels were receiving uh, foreign uh, support, uh, otherwise they couldn't have gotten uh, uh, this uh, huge amount of, of weaponry uh, actually and this uh, this scene that we are looking at now is not uh, the, the biggest one because we have seen uh, bigger uh, areas where uh, military bases that that were weapons were actually uh, laid on the ground and showcased uh, it was uh, larger and bigger than these that we are looking at now uh, as we can uh, see various uh, bullets actually uh, several types uh, of bullets are in these uh, boxes And uh, these, as we can see now, those are mortar shells. Uh, and actually, the mortar shells were were the the most common uh, weapon the rebels uh, had used. Uh, not only in Dara, maybe, but across the country. Because here in Damascus, for instance, uh, the the capital residents have uh, had suffered uh, a lot uh, from these kind of, of weapons of shelling. It was raining down Damascus almost on a daily basis, claiming the lives of many people uh, who would just leave their houses not knowing if they could make it back or not uh, so so yes now uh, these are uh, as we as uh, we can imagine those are the, the, the scars of war that you are seeing w w now uh, that we are taking a look at uh, those are the weapons that uh, have been used uh, by uh, the rebels uh, in during their insurgency uh, throughout uh, the past uh, eight years uh, but now as the situation has become much better for the government um, 
across the country actually uh, we can uh, see uh, those things are being found and we can take a look at what the rebels had actually used uh, in their fight against uh, the government forces um, uh, actually those are uh, uh, rockets uh, missiles uh, we don't know exactly what type of missiles are these but uh, they have. They were also found among other uh, weaponry uh, in Dara. And actually, um, uh, those weapons were uh, left by the rebels in Dara because in that uh, particular place and other rebel-held areas um, in general, uh, the, the rebels actually uh, surrendered and accepted uh, a deal for their evacuation uh, to northern toward northern uh, Syria, uh, more specifically to the uh, Idlib province in north western Syria. Uh, so those weapons were left behind, were uh, left in their uh, hiding places because uh, because according to the deals that were brokered uh, by Russia, for instance, um, the rebels were not allowed to to uh, move heavy weaponry with them. So they left with their light weapons and uh, they left all of these weapons behind um, uh, before they ev before they left uh, uh, to, to Idlib, uh, where actually the next uh, big battle is expected uh, because um, after the army cleaned off uh, many, many areas across the country and in most cases the rebels who had actually surrendered, they chose to uh, leave to Idlib, and uh, which made Idlib province the last major rebel stronghold now in Syria after major areas have been liberated. Uh, so now the, uh, the, the, there were uh, negotiations and talks about uh, Idlib, it is part of the escalation zones deal that was brokered uh, by uh, Russia and Turkey in September of last year but the deal didn't really uh, uh, materialize uh, there were um, uh, instances where the rebels actually broke uh, this deal and uh, most recently uh, the Al-Qaeda linked ones uh, uh, of the Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, uh, the umbrella group of the Nusra Front uh, actually uh, moved in and captured all of Idlib from other rebel from other rebel group uh, which made it now the main stronghold for the Al-Qaeda linked groups in Syria. Now the army is bracing uh, as reports have uh, uh, suggested is bracing for a major Major uh, um, assault on Idlib. Of course, the, the the negotiations are ongoing, but the military option is also on the table and is more uh, plausible than ever. Um, and it's not going to be an easy one because uh, Idlib is now uh, has turned into a magnet for for rebel groups, and um, and the Al Qaeda linked ones are the more uh, capable, most powerful in that region, uh, which will make the, the next uh, big battle uh, not um, easy at all. Um, uh, so we return to our main subject: these weapons uh, that were left by uh, the rebels before their evacuation toward Idlib, and. Um, we were told that many more uh, are going to be found as the army is sweeping in uh, more areas in Idlib and uh, dig deep into the uh, previously uh, uh, rebel-held areas in that uh, uh, place, which was the birthplace of the Syrian crisis uh, over eight years ago.